Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new synopsis for Episode 6, so that is coming next week. Also, we've got a new poster for Supergirl and its final season. Also, we've got some teasers for John Diggle coming into the show because we got our first look at him. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we do have a bunch of things to go through, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is the new poster for the new season of Supergirl, obviously it's currently on right now, but they just released it via one of the CW's Twitter accounts, and so it says final seasons, Tuesdays at 8pm, but that's not central time, so yeah, Supergirl is in the same time slot at 9, 8 central, basically, so no worries about that. However, I want to show off this poster because it's really cool and I love the colours. This is kind of the colour scheme that they've been going for with their promotion this year. Like, they've been re-editing a bunch of, like, promotional stills with these kind of light rays of, like, blue and purple. And I think it's cool and Melissa looks awesome. It must be noted that she does have bangs in here. So this is an old photo shoot that they did, like, maybe last year or something like that. So now, obviously, she doesn't have the bangs and she hasn't been able to do any photo shoots yet. That is why... All of the posters you've seen this season have all had Melissa Wood bangs, so yeah, that's just an explanation for you guys on that. Okay, so let's move on to the next big thing. This is the synopsis for episode 6, and then we'll go into the set photos to do with John Diggle showing up on Supergirl and also showing up on Superman and Lois, because we know he's showing up on all five shows, so The Flash, Batwoman, Superman and Lois, Supergirl and also Legends of Tomorrow. He's done his Legends stuff. He's been doing his Supergirl stuff last week He's done his Superman Lois stuff. I'm not 100% sure about the flash yet However, let's go into the synopsis for episode 6 of season 6 of Supergirl So Kyla Lee makes her directorial debut part 2 of the flashback episodes pick off where things left off Young Kara experiences kryptonite for the first time Nia and Brainy are trapped by invading aliens and a young cat Grant may be the reason Supergirl never gets out of the Phantom Zone. So this is really interesting. And I'm wondering what these aliens are, right? Because we know there is going to be a new and unfamiliar spaceship in David Harewood's episode, which is the next one, episode 7 after this. So could it be those same aliens that are attacking in the past that basically come back to the future where we know, like, John is there and the rest of the team are in that ship. But let's just go to the start of the synopsis. So yes, this is the second part of the two-part episode, which begins with episode 5 that is coming out this week. Super excited for that. Brainy and Nia are going to be time-traveling back into the past in order to get something to save Supergirl. So that is why they are going back. And Kyla Lee is making her directorial debut. She filmed this like a couple of months ago and it looked like a lot of fun. They were, you know, doing a lot of mid -Vale stuff because this is a mid -Vale two-part episode, essentially, where you're going to be seeing Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan as the younger versions of Alex and Kara. So this episode apparently picks off where episode 5 ends off. Obviously, we don't know where it ends as of right now, but I can reveal something exclusive, and it's a bit spoilery, so you can click off now if you don't want to be spoiled. However, we know that Nia's mum is going to be making a cameo in this episode, I believe it's just with voice overlay, so it's not like a literal thing where you're going to see her on screen. However, Nia's mum is probably going to be talking to her at some point. I know that's definitely happening. However, let's continue. So, young Kara experiences kryptonite for the first time. So, could it be Brainy and Nia bringing back kryptonite? Very, very unlikely. So, I'm going to say these aliens somehow have kryptonite. And how are they linked to the present day stuff? That is one of the big questions. And how is she being in contact with Kryptonite? I have no idea. I don't know if it's anything to do with Lex. Probably not because apparently Lex is going to be coming back in the back half of the season. Like he's not going to be showing up in the next couple of episodes. So probably these alien invaders are the ones with the Kryptonite. So maybe they have a proper link to Kara and Krypton. Okay, so Nia and Brainy are trapped by invading aliens. So those two are going to be in the past. And they're going to be with young Kara and young Alex and they're probably all going to be facing off against these aliens together. And at the same time, a young Cat Grant may be the reason Supergirl never gets out of the Phantom Zone. So, yeah, this is how they're linking in Cat Grant to Kara. I believe they actually meet in this episode, like in the past. This is like their first meeting, which is very cool. However, 
she is definitely going to be interfering with what's happening with Brainy and Nia and their investigation to try and save Kara in the past. And so somehow Kat is basically going to stop Supergirl from never getting out of the Phantom Zone. I don't think she knows of Supergirl's existence and she definitely doesn't know about the Phantom Zone. However, her actions in the present are going to be affecting what happens later and I believe she's just going to be blocking Nia and Brainy from doing what they're trying to do. So that is super, super exciting, and I can't wait for Prom Night, which is this week's episode, and then next week, on Tuesday, 9, 8 central, you're going to be getting this episode we just talked about, so Prom again, the second part of the two-part episode, so super exciting times. Remember, we're going to be covering it, so subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any daily videos, and especially when the reviews come out, you're not going to want to miss them. They come out right after the episodes air. Okay, so we've got some news about when John Digger was showing up in Superman Lois. We know he directed his episode recently, that being David Ramsey, of course, from Arrow. So this is a proper Arrow crossover on all of the shows, and this is very exciting because we haven't seen him since that episode of The Flash just after Arrow finished. And so that was the last time we saw Diggle, and now Diggle is coming back. And so according to showrunner Todd Helbing, Diggle comes into our show, that being Superman Lois, halfway through the season. Where you last saw him, there are many different things that could have happened to him, but we will explain exactly what did. So it seems like what happens on Superman Lois with Diggle showing up, and obviously he's going to be in the episode that he's directed, that's what's happening on Supergo as well, we're going to talk about that in just a minute because we do have set photos for that, with Diggle actually on set, is going to be linked to why he's showing up on all the separate shows. Maybe apart from Legends, which is split off, and apparently he's not going to be playing like normal Diggle, he's going to be playing another version of himself. So I think on Batwoman, The Flash, Supergirl, and Superman Lois, I think it's going to be kind of like this mini crossover where he's going to be showing up on the shows, and he's going to be doing his mission, whatever it turns out to be. And we do have a teaser for what maybe has happened to him, and we'll get into that in a minute. Obviously, lots of people have been predicting Green Lantern due to the ending scene with him and Arrow. However, maybe it's something different, and we're going to get onto that right now. So, this is all coming from Canada Graphs. Go check out his blog in the description below. There's a bunch of photos from the other day when they shot this. There are so many. We're going to be showing a few of them in this video, and there is lots of spoilers, so be warned. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So, David is directing episode 12 of season 6 of Supergirl, and he's also going to be showing up in this episode. So, we talked about him directing Azzy the other day, with Azzy suiting up in the new Guardian suit. So, that's super exciting. You can go check out that. I'm sure I'm going to put a pop-up somewhere where you can click onto that if you missed that. However, we're going to be talking about John Diggle actually on set. So, this is how Canada Grass's blog goes, and he describes the scenes that happened. So, Kelly wasn't the only character chasing after the baddie of this episode. This is this, like, blonde girl you see in some of the photos. And so, Guardian was joined by director Ramsey, who was also on set in his John Diggle attire. No sign of the Green Lantern outfit, sadly, but we know that episode 12 appears to be the episode he will be in for Supergirl's appearance. In this scene, the two heroes run down an alley after the baddies, while Guardian runs after the mystery woman, and Diggle is stopped by her two security guards, and he has to fight them off. So that was what they filmed the other day out in public. Obviously, they filmed probably a lot of stuff inside with Diggle, and I don't know how much of a big part he's playing, but he does seem to have an integral part of this episode and what he is potentially setting up on the other shows. I guess the Supergirl episode will probably be his last episode he shows up in, so maybe they ordered it on purpose, knowing the schedule, because obviously Supergirl goes away for 10 weeks once we hit episode 7 because Superman Lois is coming back, and you're going to see that Superman Lois episode first, and you're probably going to see the Flash episode first, and you're also going to probably see the Legends episode and definitely Batwoman as well and Supergirl is definitely going to come last so I don't know if they took that into account however let's go ahead and talk about some of these photos from Canada Graphs and it kind of describes what you've been seeing and what I was talking about so the one interesting thing when he was directing he actually had a Legion ring on he had a Legion of Superheroes ring on now why on earth would he randomly be wearing a Legion of Superheroes ring. 
That is very, very interesting. Because I really doubt that David would randomly show up to the set and be like, yes, I have a Legion Superheroes ring, I'm gonna wear it. I think this is probably a prop, right? I don't know, like, it's very unlikely that an actor is just gonna show up, wear this cool Legion ring that somehow relates to Supergirl's past. So, what happens if it's on purpose? So, is John actually not a Green Lantern? He's a member of the Legion of Superheroes. That is what happened at the end of Arrow. And like what the showrunner for Superman and Lois said, we're going to find what happened to him, and it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly what you saw, but something has happened to him. So, I'm presuming maybe he's a time traveler now. Maybe that is how he gets involved in Legends and everything. What happens if he's a member of the Legion? I think that would be amazing. So what do you guys think about that? Do you actually think he's going to be a member of the Legion of Superheroes? I think it's actually very likely. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. You get to see John Diggle. Obviously, David's on set in his attire. He's not really directing. He's actually just watching them fight. And in this scene, you see his stunt double right down at the bottom. So he was going to step in and do the fight himself, but he was just watching the choreography and he was going to join in but you get to see him fully suited up in his John Diggle attire like that is just amazing to see I mean it's been a while and I can't believe we're gonna get an Arrow character again since Arrow's ended so really excited about that and he shared a lot of scenes with Kelly which is obviously going to be a huge part of this episode because this is the episode where Kelly first suits up for the first time which is super exciting she gets her own gold suit that we talked about the other day but in this episode as you can see right here she wears like a makeshift mask and this is very similar to james olsen's mask and i think it's just like a prototype and then later in the episode she will get you know the full-on gold suit so they're fighting the security guards here and you can see this is the mystery villain of the episode the lady with the blonde hair and John and Kelly are fighting them together and so somehow he's ended up in National City and he's involved in this story. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it was an action-packed video. We had a lot of stuff to break down and talk about. However, I'm really excited about the two-part episode with Prom Again coming after Prom Night this week. Prom Again, remember, is directed by Kyla Lee, who plays Alex on Supergirl, obviously. That is super, super exciting. Also, very excited for David Ramsey's episode. Also, as he wrote this episode, so it makes sense that it's a Kelly-centric episode. So it's very exciting seeing them team up behind the camera and also on the camera. So, yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.